Okay, so I'm back, and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated when you want to rock, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so before we start, we have T-Move for 30% off and a $100 coupon bundle. We have links, right, and the code FAV58001. Okay, all right. But anyway, um, I'm going to post a poll to see if y'all want this video before I put it up, you know, considering the fact that I, I'm not able to put the actual phone call in the video and all we did was talk about it. I'm not going to lie, I really did think yesterday was going to be the last day we talked about this and then today the the phone call want to pop up out of nowhere either yesterday or the day before yesterday we talked about how um there's a possibility that lex didn't call the police because that night jocelyn did hit a lot of people but turns out it was lex that called <laughs> now me personally i'm not gonna lie i still feel the same i feel like you should have got your leg back instead of calling the police but that's just me because there is no way no her getting arrested is not enough they gonna drop them charges bro just something in me that's telling me Jocelyn ass is going to beat these charges. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone done heard the phone call already now. I can't play it. Well, I, the thing is, I don't know if I could play it because phone calls, they are public records, right? But I don't know if I'm going to get copyrighted by TMZ because, like, they the first people that put it out. It is, remember when Tory Lane phone call came out saying sorry to Megan? Um, I posted that because I'm thinking it's public records because everyone have it. But I got copyrighted for it. How? I don't know. I, I literally don't know. And I don't want to do that again. So. so she called. He like, what's the emergency? She talking about a store. I think she tried to go in the store to get the address or whatever. But he like, what's the emergency? She said, I got jumped. They beat me real bad. First of all, that one little part of the phone call, everybody think that shit is so hilarious. Like, <laughs> y'all are childish. <laughs> oh, but from what it seemed like, it seemed like as soon as it was over, she she got the fuck out of there, right? Because she, when she called the police, she said it happened 10, 15 minutes ago. Man asked her, do she need a paramedic? She said no. Then they got into this little back and forth about the car she drives, right? Why do you need to know the car she drives? I, I guess to, like, find her. But, like, they, they like, what kind of car you drive? She said a white BMW. He said, is it a sedan or is it an SUV? The lady don't know what kind of car she in. And it, it was just a, it was a, it was a pretty much a dumb conversation. You, what? <laughs> I mean, like, the last 30 seconds of this 911 call about an emergency and her pressing charges was about what type of car she drives. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a lot of people that's for her calling the police. That's like, as she should, you, she got jumped and, um, there's no reason she shouldn't have stuff like that. And then there's people like, you talk all that shit. Why you call the police and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a bunch of stuff, right? But it really, I don't know. Is it half and half? I don't know if it's half and half, though. People keep saying she got jumped by men. I did not see this lady get jumped by men. Um, I, I know some people are still thinking Melissa is a man. And then they're talking about an actual man and like, white shorts or whatever but i didn't see him hit her i seen i don't i don't even know what i seen it was one man that was pulling jocelyn hair and they stopped that pretty quickly and then there was another man in white shorts they said hit her i didn't see him hit her but i but i don't know if he did or not or if he did because some people say he tried and it didn't work because i know a lot of men got on his ass like immediately like he damn it got jumped and had to run also we all know melissa the one that was helping jocelyn apparently she had a little Back and forth or whatever with Rio, the one with the red head, the one that um uh Jonathan fought. She Melissa didn't like that Rio had the fight in the club with who? With Natalie and the other man. I don't I can't remember the other man's name. Apparently Melissa she texted Rio because like she had a problem with that fight. She said, You disrespected the mess out of my restaurant last night. That's so messed up. You acted like an ignorant animal. We as black something have very little of our own. Me and Julius worked very, look, worked so very hard and spent my life savings on this venue for the community. You are a horrible, embarrassing person. I hope you got your clout now. So after the little Royal Rumble they had, um, Rio said, PSA, Melissa, I'm a Paul. This couldn't possibly be the same Melissa that inboxed me a few months ago concerning the altercation I had with Curtis. Curtis, that's that man name. Um, and Natalie at her club saying that I was an embarrassment and a disgusting person. I know this is not the Melissa that referred to me as a wild animal. Now look what we have here. You kicking a woman who was already helpless on the ground. Then you chasing behind a woman who, who was trying to get away and sucker punching her in the back of her head. Now, if this is not the act of a wild animal, I don't know what it is. Um, it's the contradiction for me. You see, one thing about me, I'm going to keep same energy whether the cameras are rolling or not. And you got to be careful because blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, let's get into the tweets. I want to read y'all the tweets. So the first lady, I ain't going to lie, she kept calling them five fifties. I don't really know what that is. I, and I feel like I'm going to feel dumb after I post this video. Any, the lady said, both of these women are five fifties. 
Both of these women have called police on other women because they are 550. See, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. Jocelyn still has a restraining order on Tommy, meaning she called the police. She did. She did. Someone said she is so embarrassing. Talked all that shit to get beat up. Now she pressing charges? They said Lex said, chess, not checkers. I will press charges too. Question, would y'all press charges? Like, the same exact situation. Are you pressing charges? Me personally. Um, well, honestly, we don't really know what we'll do until we're in that situation. But I don't see myself pressing charges. I feel like I'm going to have to get you back. There's no, like, I don't know how I'll be able to sleep at night without getting you back. There's no way. There's no way. I'm going to say, I mean, she wanted this. She called Jocelyn hands out and told her to bring her crew, right? Um, someone said, wonder why she ain't tell the police that she said pull up and she wanted to beat her up. She did. She said that. It, it, I feel like it depends on the way you look at it, you know, because... Some people feel like there's no rules. I, I feel like the only rule it might be is no nigga need to hit a woman. That's about it. Or a kid. But it was no kids there. Thing is, some people feel like she shouldn't have got jumped. Some people feel like it should have been a one-on-one -on -one and that's it. And then on the other hand, some people feel like uh, you, you was you was talking trash to this girl. Yeah, it was on site, right? You told her bring her people. She came with multiple people. Where's your people? You should have brought the people. That You see how people... I see both sides, honestly. Someone said, two things we all need to learn from this. One, keep your mouth closed. Two, uh, and always get the last laugh. She set Jocelyn up for failure, and Jocelyn took the bait. I don't really know. I didn't really look at it like that, but okay. Someone said she was bragging about how she was going to drag Jocelyn and beat her up. Last time I checked, there's no rules in a street fight. You talk all that big talk, but run to the police. Okay. <laughs> so, someone said, I tried to grab Lex Hill that she had in her hand and pulled Jocelyn here in the process and they must have thought he was jumping and got tagged. We're going to have to find a different narrative at this point. Okay, because I was wondering why, well, I don't know if that's even true, but I was wondering why that man was pulling Jocelyn hair, especially for that long. I feel like the man that was holding Jocelyn hair and then the man who got uh, jumped for like a, a quick two, three seconds is two different people. Because the man that got jumped, I feel like he was trying to hit Lex. Weird, okay. Someone said, don't try and crop the video. Show what really happened. They was getting it one-on-one, -on -one, and the man dropped her to the floor. Stop capping for the internet just because you like Jocelyn old ass. Big Lex was attacked. This wasn't a fight. To the man that hit her, right? The one in the white shorts. I'm glad you got jumped. And honestly, I kind of hope they jumped you for like a little bit longer. Like, at least you got hit a couple times because that's weird. You shouldn't hit women. Like, please. Someone said, you could clearly see men pulling her hair and dragging her to the ground. How do you even come to the conclusion she wasn't hit uh, by men when two men attack, attacked a girl Jocelyn hit for no reason? All right. This man was supposed to be pulling Jocelyn hit, and he wasn't supposed to be pulling Jocelyn hit. And then the second man, he tried to hit Lex, or he did hit Lex, but that got resolved immediately. So... Yeah, but that, but that don't take away from the fact that a man hit her or tried to hit her. Someone said, them charges not sticking. I don't think so either. I really don't think so. Someone said, uh, don't know what a sedan is, but wanted to joke about aborting a child. And then someone said, how, uh, this end up getting leaked? Okay, so I think, I think 911 calls are public information. And I didn't even know that was Lex, the one that said the whole double homicide thing. I did not know that was her. Okay, right, to end it off, someone said, um, and she was literally jumped. The person responded said she literally wanted to fight Jocelyn and told her to bring her people. Someone responded to that. They said bring her people for her people or are you purposefully being slow? Someone responded to that. <laughs> they said and that's exactly what happened. Uh, are you purposefully being slow? Hope I got a good representation of the people that's for Lex on calling the police. And what I will say because I feel like people taking it wrong. Um, I know for a fact Lex got jumped. I'm not taking away from that. It's a fact she got jumped. It's video proof. Of her getting jumped. I don't think I ever said she didn't get jumped. The whole was it a fight situation. Me, Okay, here's with me, right? If hands was thrown and people were hit, I feel like that's a fight. Now, was it a fair fight? No, because she got jumped. It was a fair fight at first until uh, Melissa jumped in it. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, basically she was helpless or she was by herself and they're calling it an attack. I don't, me, I don't really see it as an attack because it's not like... She was, like, oblivious to what was happening. It's not like she wasn't talking shit. Or she just got caught lacking, bruh. And she got jumped. Then, at the same time, I do kind of feel the attack for it. Because, like, I mean, it was niggas trying to hit her, too. So, I'm, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I can see both sides. I question, though. Since Lex pressed charges, can she still get her look back? Like, if she see Jocelyn, can she still fight her now that she pressed charges? 
I don't know how that works. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. So if you found it interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.